Why shouldn't I want to strive and, and, and achieve a home in the suburbs? What, what's, what's wrong with this? What are we supposed to do? Turn America topsy-turvy? Shall we take every person who makes more than so much money and, and take it away from him like he was a criminal? If you want him to go out directly and take half his paycheck and find some poor Negro down on the getter and say, here, take half my paycheck? What shall we all do? Eliminate uh, ambition? Eliminate a striving for something better? And it is wrong to try to come down to their level or anyone's level. But on the other hand, a Negro owes it to himself to try to to better himself. Now he could he could learn to to dress properly, to to talk properly, to keep himself uh, in a in a situation that will not say, well, he's like a wild savage. Uh, look at it. Uh, he, he ought to go back to the jungle. If you grew up in Venice, or if you were forced to come to Venice and live, uh, if you don't know, if you don't know it before you get here, you find it pretty soon that you you're coming right into nothing. Some people they don't want to live in Venice. I mean, uh, this is either Venice or Watts is the only choice you have. If the guy's even got a job, I mean, he's just barely making it, you know. That uh, it's not the fact that uh, that he don't want to do. It's the fact that he can't do any better. Opportunities that have been open to some people with, uh, say, my same background, it's just according to whether you were aware of it or not. I mean, I could have possibly, possible, have gone farther, in other words, been in a better job position. I could have uh, went further in school to go into a different educational background. I mean, they're dead, I, I'll admit, they're just as dead as um, any community of people I've ever seen. Well, my wife is the quiet type. She likes things just quiet and peaceful. She doesn't like Venice too much. She would like to move away from it, in a sense. I mean. Uh, the thing that she doesn't like is um, the living conditions of the people around her. So things like this uh, is the reason why she felt like, well, to run away from this and be someplace else, well, it would be better.
but uh, you don't have no assurance that it's better. But uh, my wife supports me. I mean, she don't agree with everything that I do, but she still supports me. And this is very important. This is very important. educate them beyond what they are living in, to give them a, the assurance, well, I can come back to dad and uh, he'll be there. And uh, some people just can't bear it. I mean, they, they take it for so long and there's no money in the house and uh, some people can take this longer than others, but uh, unless you've got an awful lot of stability about you and uh, a good strong constitution, this will break you down. Hate, and still hate, and they send me to jail. And I've been going ever since then. Every time I think about them years is hatred. You know, like, it was up to my ancestors and so forth, I wouldn't have been here no way. And if there's any way that I can split and, and, and keep your world happy and make my world happy, then I'd be ready to split. Today, tomorrow, right now. The United States, I'm speaking of the United States. This United States of ours. It's, it's, it's cold-blooded. They don't care. They don't care. They I mean, what, what the hell they got to care for? They, every time a nigga get shot, there's another nigga dead. We don't have to worry about it. They don't care. He ain't, we ain't got nothing. We ain't never had nothing. So we just stay like this and don't get nothing. The pains of life, the things that, 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 that don't, that, you know, that, that kind of goes against your dream. You know, that everything's hard really to, uh, not being one around, you know, discrimination, some people call it. I don't understand, but it's the blues and the truth. The kids that hang around on the corner up there, at one time, they had high hopes. I mean, hopes as high as um, Jack and Robinson, but their hopes were killed. And I mean, to have to live in these conditions, and there ain't nothing you can do about it, and you listen to the news and watch the TV and the reports that uh, about our great society, you just drop down and go down further. You, you lose your zest. You, you don't want to continue. I can remember feeling like that myself. I mean, when I was going to school, I felt like wanting to quit, but uh, I was old enough to realize that it, uh, it was going to hurt me in the long run. I'm from Texas, a little town called Wortham, Texas. And my father, he was a sharecropper there. He owned his own stock and tools and whatnot, but he worked on what you call a third and fourth. This works something like you raise a crop and you get to keep a third of one item and a fourth of the other. But you work the land that belongs to somebody else. The schools that I went to were all segregated. In fact, I went every day when I went to school, I walked right past the white school about a mile to go to the Negro school. And 
all of my school days up to high school, I saw a great big beautiful brick school for the whites. And when I went on down to my school, it was just a little frame building there with the elementary school on one side and then built into the same building was the high school. Well, we used to get some of the old books from the white schools. I mean, uh, we, we very seldom got new books. Then some of the books that we got, I mean, it was preparing you like you were a white man that you trained for one thing that you'll never attain, that you'll never get. It wasn't too much, I guess, we could do. I mean, uh, it was left up to our parents at that time, and uh, they weren't exactly all educated to the extent that they knew how to go about changing the situation, so they just made the best out of the situation as it was. some of those boys up on the corner field, that uh, maybe I should either go to school or work and quit one or the other. This tractor that I was driving for this guy while I was going to school, I would let the water out of it, I'd drive it until it just burned up, just ran so hot until it wouldn't even pull it on itself. I'd say, well, it won't work. Then I'd take off and go to school. So uh, this seemed to work pretty good. And I felt like just quitting one or the other. And my parents insisted, well, you need to work to help out with uh, expenses. I mean, there were 10 children and my dad and mother. And uh, I used to think my dad was doing a pretty poor job. But the older I got, seems like the smarter he got. You know, uh, he was wising up on what to do to make things a little better. I think my father and mother were the greatest people in the world, regardless of what we said or what we did, they were there. And which um, later in life, I started to turn a little sour at 18, 18, 19, living in a way that I knew it wasn't right. Uh, but I, I just kind of didn't care and I was revengeful to me because I knew I was breaking the law. I kept thinking more and more that if I didn't stop that something was going to happen to me. I started feeling like this, that uh, I was going to get caught. And uh, I, the older I got, the more mature I got, the more I felt like, well, you better stop it, otherwise uh, it's going to really become a part of you and you can't stop it. I mean, the only way you're going to stop it is that you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be locked up someplace to where somebody's going to stop it for you. Then I decided, well, I'll just find the right girl and I'll just get married and then I'll have to live uh, a good life like my dad. I always wanted to, you know, eventually decide to try and live a good life like I felt that my dad lived. The guys on the corner, they don't, don't have nothing to behold to at all. No job, no no family, uh, no nothing. Nothing to feel proud of. 
as a reason that he should, should stop doing the things that he's doing. Am I wrong? Am I right? <laughs> It's, it's pretty bad. 
it's up to you what you want to do, you know. You, you can make life miserable, I mean, boring, you know, same old day, you know. You got to live, you know, next day, nothing you do. You know. It's uh, it's not good at standing up there, you know. There's not, nothing to do but stand up there all day, go home, look at television, listen to the radio, go out on the corner, you know. Nothing. Uh, I should be working. I filled out a lot of applications and things like that. But, uh, well, I kind of almost gave up. I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, some people just have more drive than other people do, you know. Like, uh, in the position I'm in today, well, you know, that's nobody's fault, you know, except mine, you know. It seems like, you know, just life comes to a certain stop. You know, you can't just seem to move or something, you know. I don't know what it is. If I, if, if I knew what it was, I'd be in good shape. But it's just something holding, I mean, something holding me to a dead stop, you know what I mean? But he cannot ask the majority to change its entire system to suit him because he can't seem to make what they want him to make. Uh, slavery? Exploitation? How can you eliminate exploitation? I mean, I, I am against exploitation. Fine, so am I. Show me a better system. Well, of course, uh, people have been talking about utopias for centuries, and nobody has yet come up with one. I think that uh, suffering and unpleasantness can be held down to a minimum, but I don't believe you're ever going to have heaven on earth. I don't think nobody really just wants to be poor. People who, who are doing all right for themselves, I mean, living good, they see other people who are living poor, and uh, for the most part, they don't bother to look. But if they really go and take a close-up look, you'll find where he really doesn't want to live like this. So I feel we should take another look at ourselves. And to bring about the kind of America that I read about in a book as a child, only to find uh, when I grew up that it wasn't really as the book had stated it.